What's up, y'all? Welcome to Tune Into the Culture, episode two. What's it's your up? boy Ozzy. Mikey Sacks. Yes, sir. So, we got a lot to talk about on this episode. Yeah, we do. Um, we have Grammys, Super Bowl, Playboy Cardi and his shenanigans, <laughs> and then uh, with the old LeBron. We got a lot. So, let's, let's go ahead and start the first time. We'll start on uh, the most recent, so, Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, before we get into that, I want to uh, shout out my boy Q, his clothing line. God Gear, Goldstone Gloat is the name of his Instagram, and we're gonna drop the uh, website link in the comments. So yeah, yeah, I make sure you in the description, and it's gonna be pinned in the comments at the very top. Yeah, so, Goldstone Gloat, that's the ad name. Remember, if yeah. you a goat, you don't glow because you you know who you are. So you don't yeah, even flexing the world. God, God Gear, remember that. Shout out my boy Q. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing started though. So first, we're gonna start with the first topic. Before we do that, you had a good Valentine's Day. Well, I was I went grocery shopping. <laughs> uh, I had a good. I didn't find love, love, but I found my grocery. Love. <laughs> Me and my wife went out to eat twice. We went to lunch and then dinner. So shout out my beautiful wife, I miss you. I love you. Hardworking woman right there. But uh, love, love, love is beautiful. You know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, let's get this shit started though. Uh, All right. So Super Bowl what was it 38-35? Close yeah. game. Eagles took that L. I'm a cow. Mahomes came in clutch. Mahomes yeah, came in clutch. He did. I'm a Cowboys fan. We don't ride with the Eagles, so hold that L, Eagle Nation. Uh, but yeah, Mahomes MVP, Super Bowl MVP, League MVP. That man, he got a clutch maker right there, man. They, 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 they're, they're calling the next oh, Tom Brady. You know, so. you know the most respectful thing they did after the win. What? They were uh, Mahomes and all the other uh, the Chiefs. They were inside the locker room dancing to "Just Wanna Rock," which is an Philly song. Yeah, I know. They, were, they, were, they were like they were hitting the gritty, and then I was like, "Oh, they violent! They violent!" I was yeah, like, that's oh. shit crazy though. That's no, crazy. Like, no, I can I couldn't take that level of respect. I have to go in there and I have to I have to expose their their, their coaches so and be like, yeah. "Hey, I know your your coach. He cheating on the fight. I have to, I have to put I have to get something get something <laughs> going on. They're not about to just talk about our city like that and just. Yeah, I'm not from Philly. But I'm just saying from their perspective, yeah. someone disrespecting me on a Philly song like that. I have to get Meek Mill to drop a whole diss track on the Chiefs or something. Yeah. But it was a good game overall. Um, the outcome is what I predicted, Chiefs, but... Uh, it was it was pretty close because at the time, the odds were looking 50-50 because Eagles, what, they had like 17, yeah. 16-4, 17-4 yeah. on the record. Chiefs came back from 10 points, so it was a good game. It could it could happen anywhere, to be honest with you. Hope y'all had fun at your little Super Bowl parties. Oh, now, yeah. <laughs> enough about that, though. Let's talk about the halftime show. Yeah. So we had Rihanna performing. Yeah, where she she announced she was pregnant with baby number two. Yeah, I mean she didn't have to announce it; you could just see her belly. But yeah, that's what that's what the whole shit was. So, my thing is that Rihanna, uh, she pregnant, but like, what's what she gonna get married, man? She out here having two kids with the same dude, no marriage. That's kind of wild. I ain't gonna lie. ASAP, that man move ASAP. <laughs> if you know what I that mean. Man, that, <laughs> that, that, that man's pull out game is the opposite of ASAP. He's. I mean. Do you blame him? It's Rihanna. She's a billionaire. I won't pull out either if I was. Not even the fact that she's a billionaire. She's just an island gal, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, you know the island guy they don't do something to your boy, you know. They, they, they get <laughs> right, you know? Yeah, but I seen people was hating and shit. I personally, I thought it was an okay performance. Obviously, she pregnant. What more do you expect her to do? Bro, like she not she not about to be doing backflips. Yeah. And, and like spinning in the air, like come on now. She, she not gonna be doing right. car wheels and doing. They want her to so, dance like how Beyonce. Be so her her, her performance was pretty short, but it was pretty memorable. She performed better have my money. Where have you been? Only girl in the world. We found love. Work walked out, poured up, and her verse from uh all the lights. Yeah. So I, that was my favorite part because that's one of my favorite songs in the world. Like if you've yeah. been tuned into my YouTube channel for a minute. You'll yeah. see that I used to have that as my intro. Even the last video, yeah. the little instrumental with all the lights. Yeah, so that, that's literally one of my favorite uh, songs by Kanye and Rihanna. They were, they, you know, what people were saying that like would have been dope if she brought out either Drake, Kanye, or Jay Z. Yeah, the, cool. the more reasonable one is obviously Jay Z because he was there yeah. watching. I don't know why she didn't bring him out to it perform would, it like Umbrella or running. I, I, I think main reason she probably didn't bring. She was trying to make the sitch moment about her, but. Rihanna's not the type of person where like she puts her whole personal life out there. Yeah. So like, I was kind of shocked that she even talked about the pregnancy at all. But yeah. another thing that kind of blew me was like I don't know if you peep, but there's a, a clip that got taken out. She like put up, she like threw up the rock. Yeah, that's like, the rock nation. Yeah, but the rock, the way she was throwing it, they all went all red. He thinks he Illuminati. Like, no, no, we don't believe that Illuminati like, shit. I don't know, man. Like she just a successful black woman. So whenever you see a successful black person. They all they want to lay you as Illuminati, Jay Z. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's Illuminati because not Illuminati. They're successful musical artists. All the people that are in the Illuminati, they're 
they're literally not going to be artists. The people that are artists will be puppets, if anything. I'm not saying it's real, but if it is, that, that was a wild time. Like, what was the last time she said something about the Rock Nation, like, as a label? She, she always throw that up. If you watch the Run This Town, yeah. she throws the Rock up. Okay. Look, hey, y'all Google Run This Town Radio. Y'all let me know in the comments. Y'all let me know throwing that Rock. Y'all, y'all call me the Illuminati real or am I tripping? Am I, am I tweeting? Because I feel like Illuminati's real, bro. But, you know, hey, bro. I'm like, hey, I, Rihanna cool. Anti was a good album. <laughs> it was. Oh, listen, that was a lot. It was just a lot of little right. messages in the, in the performance. Though. The Arabs, she wearing all red, they wearing all white. That red shit was kind of weird. Yeah. I agree with you, but I don't think it was nothing to it. They said she was trying to pay homage to Kanye because he wore all red in one of his performances. But who am I? I'm just, that's, that's above my Like I said, it's just, it's just a theory. It's just a theory. But hey, that's know. above our pay bracket. You know, right. don't, don't take it to <laughs> heart. You know what I mean? That's above our pay bracket. You know what I mean? Me that me, 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 have a lot of love for the island yeah. you know. Well, yeah, overall, it was, real, a, so it was a decent performance. Uh, what else we got to talk about? Uh, LeBron. LeBron. Yeah. Hey, shout out that boy LeBron, OBJ the go, man. He my go. So, I don't care about that NBA People shit. don't want to give LeBron credit because they say, oh, he went he went to the uh, finals 10 times, but he only won four rings. I'm like, how many times have <laughs> you been to the finals? <laughs> exactly. How many times have you been drafted? Did you get drafted out, out of high school? <laughs> Pretty. Y'all did y'all did, y'all did, y'all did be hand. <laughs> just sloppy, deep though. Just, I'll just be one to rock, hate for no reason. Facts. Because if it was a one, okay, Michael Jordan, how many times he retired, right? He retired twice, didn't he? Yeah, when something he, shit like that. He went to go play baseball, baseball Came career, back. not not that great. Came back. Played Came golf. Back. I didn't see him, I didn't see him uh, on, on the golf course with uh, Tiger Woods, so mm-hmm. y'all talking about all that? LeBron, you know, he, yeah, sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he might he might be flopping a lot, but, he, <laughs> but it's part of the game, bro. It's just like boxers. Floyd Mayweather does the same thing. He, he, yeah. he plays smart. Yeah. When he's boxing, what does he do? He he, he fights the points. He doesn't. Yeah, go, he doesn't go for Floyd is not a big person. He's yeah. he's known for for uh, 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 weaving. Yeah. Weave weave. <laughs> you know what I'm he, he's moving out the way. He's he's fighting smart. It's just like any athlete is trying to get the highest amount of stats possible, right? And they're trying to win things. Yeah. So if Floyd Mayweather is dodging and LeBron is flopping to get more points, all right. Why are your favorite teammate? You said that he's not good, but how can he scoring on everybody? Averaging 40 points a game? Come on now. So people would be trying to say that he's not good. If he wasn't good, he wouldn't have broke this record, would he? Nah. And the and the game, the, the NBA right now is way more difficult than before. Yeah. Almost everybody is a is almost an all-star player, bro. Yeah. Another thing. Day. Sorry, I didn't cut you off. I didn't go out watching MJ. I don't care about what he did in 1997. I was fucking six, seven years old. Kobe, though. Kobe, I did see, like, the middle of Kobe. I respect Kobe, Kobe yeah. yeah. Rest in yeah. peace. Kobe, the black mama. Gigi. Yeah, Kobe. rest in yeah. peace. Yeah. But... LBJ is my goal when it comes to basketball. I don't care about none of that. All that. He broke the all-time scoring record. Y'all haters can be mad all you want to. Plus, LeBron really made it. LeBron out is great. that guy. Shout out to LBJ. His mom literally helped make sure that he was doing good in school. Yeah. Like, she out here supporting him by, him, by herself. And, like, yeah. man got... He, how many people are getting drafted out of high school? But not a lot of people do that. Yeah. You know, Michael Jordan, he had to wait till he got to college. He, he played for UNC. Michael, uh, LeBron never had a, never got drafted out of college, so... Anytime you go to college, you don't, you're not going to see no posters yeah. of him because LeBron made it straight out of high school. People don't be doing that no more. Nah. Uh, so, so that's a lot of points, though. Shout out, Bron, Bron. Uh, what else we got? Uh, so we got Grammys, Playboy, Cardi. Oh, so let, talk about let's Grammys. talk about Playboy, Cardi. We'll save Grammys for last. Playboy, Cardi, man. What's, if so, you see this, man, what the fuck is going on with yeah, you, man? You, you had it, much up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You had AD Azalea, bro. What happened, my boy? Like, why you let that go, man? Like, come on, bro. Like... I understand, you know, you might be going through stuff. We all go through shit. We all human. I understand. Yeah. I'm going to probably put this on the screen, but this is him right now with the mugshot. So, like, apparently he uh, he choked on his pregnant girlfriend. Someone called because they heard noises. And, like, he already has a kid with Iggy Azalea, but apparently he's barely there. Anytime he comes to take care of Iggy, it's, yeah. uh, the kid, their son, Onyx, yeah. he's only there because he's trying to avoid his life problems. So he's not really there for his kid. He yeah. paid child support, but in he, he just don't show up. <laughs> he should be like Eddie. If you don't have a lot of kids, you gotta be like Young Boy or Eddie Murphy. They got a lot of kids, different baby mamas, yeah. but they be there for their kids. You'll never hear a story about Young Boy or Eddie Murphy not take care of the kids. Yeah, they know what they did. They had sex. They didn't yeah. pull out, so they took care of the kids. End of story. Playboy, you got too much money. You a famous rapper, bro. Yeah, bro. Don't let these women. That's another thing. Man. Yeah, Shout out my wife, cause she a real one. But I'm, I'm gonna stop it right there because I see where you're going, but it's not the woman fault in this situation. He's the aggravator. He's no, no, I know, I know, I know. No, 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 this is what I'm so, saying. This is what woman, I'm saying. stop letting rappers be. Rappers don't care about you. What, what did DJ Akin ever say in the, in the, in the chats? Rappers are professional liars. Cats. They are. Most of them. You see this? 
cap stars. <laughs> All they know how to do is cap. So, but know. listen though, listen, listen. I'm not saying no. If he did that, he's wrong. He's a shitty human being for that. But what I'm saying is, don't let these women push you to the point where you're gonna put your hands on, especially a pregnant woman. Just, bro, just, just live and see another day, man. Leave. Just walk away. Are you angry and you Be feel like you're about to put your hands on somebody. Just walk out. Especially you being a famous rapper and you doing that, you already know you're going to have all this limelight on you, my boy. You already know it's going to be negative backlash. Companies ain't going to want to rock with you. You're going to lose out money just for putting hands on this one. And, and, and the money not having the biggest part, freedom. Your reputation. Yeah, no reputation. One will ever, you, know, you think people are going to want to come to your show that they know that you're choking women when you get angry? Imagine a fan comes to you, you having a bad day. You start, you know, you start, yeah, Homer, yeah. You start Homer Simpson in. Like, yeah. when he did the bar, he just like, <laughs> yeah. like, uh, like, that's not a good look. Another example of that. Shout out to Chris Brown, 757 uh, home native right there in Virginia, mm-hmm. yeah. But he's still recovering from what he did to Rihanna. That was how many years ago? That was like over 10 years ago. They man, still won't get away. Man went to jail, paid fines, paid, had to pay Rihanna in court, and he uh, did community service. But still won't let him perform at the Grammys or the AMAs or nothing. Someone asked him, said, oh. still, still some executives to this day... They still blackball that man from putting him on playlists and all that. The only reason why his, his music career is doing good is because he had such a good past, the catalog yeah. of music. Like, so when Breezy came out, his album that he dropped last year, yeah. I didn't see a lot of blogs covering it. They did. I downloaded that shit hard. And that album, Indigo, that was a great album. Indigo, his last two albums, Indigo, Breezy, they both yeah. hard. And he had, that the, the album alone was already yeah. like an hour and a half. So we that was out the point. Yeah, the, the, last, the last album was like three hours long. So again, man, it's not worth it. Anybody, that's just not go for no famous person. Just don't let you, whoever, whoever watching this, that shit is not worth it. Just walk away and be the big. Take person. a deep breath and be like, dang, go go to McDonald's, get you a McFlurry, maybe the ice cream machine working, <laughs> just some nice little medium fries. I don't know, go go to Auntie Anne, get a Cinnabon, do something, bro. Go work out. Go hit a punch. Teach me to something. Sorry. <laughs> Pause, Granddad. <laughs> but do something. Go, go, go hit a punch. Do something. You out here tweaking like that, bro. Just not all right, man. Right, hopefully, next time boy get off. So hopefully, you get out of that situation. So last week, they also had the 65th annual Grammy Awards. What right? you think about that, man? It was cool, you know. Like, did you I watch it? Did you watch the highlights? I watched the highlights. I didn't watch it. I watched. I don't ever watch it live because I'm me not, neither. Not I don't got cable. So. And then they had like uh, Sam Smith performing unholy. So I guess he that shit was weird. I guess he's non-binary. I don't know too much about how that stuff works, so I'm not gonna speak on things I don't understand. I just know that he was wearing like devil horns and we're wearing red. Uh, that was screaming Illuminati. But hey, that's <laughs> I'm not tripping on that. Um, so let's yeah. talk about who won, right? So thank you for coming, yo. I get excited because you remember Kendrick Lamar did win a Grammy that first time when yeah, uh, he won a Grammy off to Pippa Butterfly. Yeah, but he should have won a Grammy when Good Kid Mad City. He should have. They let a guy yeah. that just made his first album, and all he had that only people knew one song from the album was. Uh, Thrift, thrift Shop. Yeah. Or that other song. Kenny Lamar had... Uh, another song, too, yeah. they always listen to. Kenny Lamar, he had, he had swimming pools. He had uh, Help Me, I'm Dying of Thirst. Yeah. He had Good Kid... He literally had way more songs in the album, and then they gonna give it to him. Like, what? This album was open. The album was mid at best. Yeah. So for them to put him over Kenny Lamar, and he even knew that. He was like, I don't deserve this, but even if you say, oh, I give this to Kendrick, it got your name on it, so it doesn't mean anything. It's just out of politeness. I'm gonna keep it real with you, though. Know, I already fought with that album he dropped. I only listened to it like one time. Get out! Get out! Get out! Okay. Get out! Yeah. Get out! Time. Mr. Rounds Big Steppers. I remember, I'm the one that told you about it coming out. I knew it was coming out. Right? I told you the name of it. Yeah, but I saw that. I, I keep it But I listened to it. And it was kind of me. I'm going to keep it real. But that's my opinion. Weird title. I listened to that shit one time and I did not listen to it again. So I think Future Album was better than that album. Mm, I don't know. My personal opinion. But it's very way, opinionated. But if you like Good Kid Mad City, you'll like Good Kid Mad City is a classic. If you like no, Good Kid right. Mad City, you'll like Mr. Rowan. Because Ken Lamar is a storyteller. We know this. So maybe some of the songs you'll see that they're for, they're clearly for like the, 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 the radio. The other songs are like, this is what I want you to think about this. Like that one song, Rich Spirit. That song's a banger. Out of the big three, out of Kendrick, J. Cole, and Drizzy, he is definitely the one I listen to the least out of all three of them. Yeah. I definitely, you already know I fought with Drake. Yeah, six guys. Like, Shout out to Six guys. I rock with J. Cole and Kanye heavily. I like Drake too, but Kanye helped me get through school, bro. Like, I was in, co- I was in college, like, really, I didn't even, I got my social degree and I didn't continue. Because Kanye really made a point Kanye, where, he was that guy back in the day. You know, I don't even know. really need college. That Dollar album was low key was hard, too. Hard, it was low key. <laughs> Your Souls, like, Hurricane? Classic, classic. What? That and shit was, was uh, City of Gods? 
Come yeah. on now, bro. That's a beautiful song. It's, his production value, no matter what anyone says about Kanye West, I've never heard an album by him that wasn't produced well. Yeah. But at least, at the very minimum, the way the story is being told with the music, the instrumentals yeah. behind it, yeah. that's why all the lights for my favorite Kanye West song because it starts with the violin, the orchestra's like, da da, and, yeah. and then it just goes and the trumpet starts. Too bad Rihanna didn't bring him out of the Super Bowl. Yeah, well, that's a different. Yeah. That's another thing. They probably they they're like, hey, uh, don't don't bring Mr. West in the building. You <laughs> don't like Jewish people. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah, that's what they said. That's what um, they what you think about Beyonce breaking the record for most Grammy wins? Oh, I, 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 I feel like that was automatic. You know what I think is so crazy? You know, her and Jay Z are tied for the most nominations. I think in Grammy, and Jay Z's the most rapper. Yeah. He has the most rappers as of. He has the most wins. I think he's tied for most wins as a rapper, and he's. Has the most nominations as a rapper. I remember when it was just Kanye and Kanye. Him and Kanye are tied for most Grammy yeah. wins. But unless Jay Z, because Jay Z's live was what, 444, right? So, like, you know, Jay Z's. We, we got, one of these days, we gotta talk about Jay Z. Because this oh, man, listen to this. We gotta talk about that. That might be another episode. Cause that's gonna be over. That episode, so episode number three is gonna be us talking about the top 50 influential rappers. Cause yeah, we gotta do real estate too. Yeah, real estate. Yeah, my boy, I'll, uh, I'll probably episode four because we'll we'll make a poll on Instagram. So just follow us. I'll have his name. His name will be above his head here. And then my name is over here. Hey Ozzy. Then Mikey underscore stack seven five seven. So you'll you'll see all that. That'll be another. It's just so much to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Let us know in the comments what y'all want us to talk about. Cause I'm open for anything. You know, I've been wanting to have my own little podcast for a minute. I finally got a good situation with my young buck right here. Ozzy, so you know, we try to make this thing good, interesting for you guys. We want y'all to enjoy it also. Shout out my family for showing me love. Uh, shout out my boy Dave, my best friend. Uh, who else? My boy Q, my boy Rob. It's a lot of y'all that support me, and I feel the love, and I appreciate it. Shout out my mama. Mama, love you. Shout out my beautiful wife. Rest in peace, take off. Take off. No. Yeah, take oh. off. Rest in peace, take off. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, I appreciate the love. The love is felt. Just know that y'all went. Y'all helped us with the first episode, man. People sharing it, leaving comments, leaving likes. Everything, anything means everything to me. So any little thing. All support is good support. Yeah, all support is good support. I like that. So yeah. I just wanted to say that. I appreciate it. Sorry, I ain't mean to go on top of it. So no, nah, it's good. We got to show we gotta show, show love to people's support because if we don't appreciate people who support us, then what's the point of going? Yeah. So like, all right, let's go ahead and go up the list of this stuff. So for rap, we had Mr. Brown Big Steppers, Kendrick Lamar winner, and then Taylor Swift. She just dropped the album, and it, and her t- album sales is so crazy that they had to ban they had to ban her thing off of a seat master and yeah. ticket Ticketmaster and Seat Geek because people were buying the tickets just to resell them. It was getting crazy. Yeah, that shit crazy. So she won for her short film. For Shout out Taylor Swift, Swift though. She all too well. She been consistent she, for a while. I don't listen to her music, but she's consistent. Yeah, not but I heard a couple of good songs from her. You know? Yeah, that's all Kendrick Bad Blood. Uh, you know, she got a few other tracks here and there, but shout out her. Man. Yeah, so she definitely crossed over for pop country to pop so easily. Yeah, she and So Sam Smith won for a pop duo group performance, Unholy, him and Kim Petras. The Into the Woods, never watched that. I don't listen to rock like that. Our, uh, Beyonce got a Grammy for a Cuff It. Yeah. yeah. I, like, come on, that. Break My Soul, Dance Chord. We, you seen that on TikTok, Instagram, you knew that I was going to win. Man, we heard that on deployment, we knew that shit was pop. I, the moment we got to the line, <laughs> yeah, we downloaded it. And I, I said, it's a dun, dun, dun. You won't break my soul. <laughs> radio, that's what we call a radio killer, bro. It's going to play every yeah. three seconds. <laughs> so, let's see. We got, I, I got one thing to say. Mm-hmm. I know y'all, y'all been thinking DJ Khaled be doing some corny shit, but I'm mad they snubbed that man for God did. He ain't went one Grammy, but he had probably one of the best performances yeah. on there when he had Rick Ross, Jay Z, and Brian Hall. You saw how and fire. Fire. he yeah. recorded that. His, yeah, and yeah, his, yeah I know. He I had no that. money, and he was just putting money into uh, studio time. So, I mean, yeah, they, the Grammys, y'all need to stop doing that. Stop having these people nominated, you, perform, you, and do you, all that. Y'all you know, don't give them you, one. You know what I hate about the Grammys? Award. The people don't vote. Even if the people did get a chance to vote, they would still they have judges. They should let the people choose. Most of the people that vote are are people that won Grammys yeah. before. Yeah. The Grammy because they're the they're judging off the quality. So there are certain dogs that'll be like best perform. But it's like how can you as a musical artist say that this is better when the fans decide what's better? Yeah. So yeah, you might have someone like Nicki Minaj where the fan base is so hardcore like they're gonna say anything she puts out is good. But at the same time, if some if people are voting, then it means something. I personally think if they, I don't know if they do have a best uh, rap collaboration or best collaboration. I think uh, God did should have won Jay Z, Ross, Wayne, and uh, yeah. Khaled and Friday and John Legend. Yeah. Yeah. That hands down, Jay Z's verse was godly like and 
freaking. I think that was the best collaboration, but that's just me. Yeah. But Grammy, stop snubbing these artists, man. And I think another thing they need to do is that they need to start. There's so many subcategories of music, even dance, even uh, electric, electronic music, yeah. and house music, yeah. and EDM and uh, house music. Yeah. It's there's so many subcategories and now that if they're putting everything into one category, it doesn't work because every yeah. the music keeps evolving. There's yeah. no longer just one category. Hip hop and rap has been staying the same thing, but in reality, we got trap. We got uh, what's the other one? We have the lyrical music. We have the club music, which is yeah. two different things. So, like, imagine having like when Ray Sherman first came out. Yeah. It was making bangers, right? But they ain't get nothing. They ain't really get any awards. But they had bangers. Oh, then they barely got nominated. But, but, it, but it was for it was for club music, right? But that's uh, hip hop too. But yeah. then you'll see people like Drake. Like he's not. He's making songs for the radio. He's not necessarily making songs for clubs. But it, it ironically ends up being played at clubs anyway. So they Drake, man. Right? So they just need. A, they, they just need a break between trap. And the lyrical, the part of music, yeah. and then all that, and then you, then now they got this new genre with uh, what is it? It's trap, it's trap EDM with uh, Lil John, Lil John, and uh, what's that guy? So uh, oh, yeah, but they made that big, but that's they don't they don't have it considered as that. They're just gonna put it as EDM. Yeah. They, they need to have subcategories and just have that either better judges or let the people vote. Yeah, cause they got a whole year to let people vote, and then if they really want to make it, then they gotta just have a way where. We can vote one time and it's not. How much time we got left? Sorry, we got like we got like eight minutes left in the recording. So we went through. Let me just quick run down. We talked about Grammys, Playboy about Cardi, Playboy Cardi, the Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Rihanna halftime yeah, performance, halftime performance, yeah. halftime of the Grammy. So the Grammys still some stuff left. So Beyonce won a she won for best dance electronic album. So but Beyonce, she didn't get album of the year though. They were saying that she should have won album of the year too though. I think this this works because I didn't like it it, it broke she look she went to a different genre right and yeah. it and it broke through it still won the yeah. so that's saying something. So for it to I don't know what what won best album of the year, let's see. So So let's see, Dance Electronic, Renaissance, Remix, New Age album. I think Glorilla was out the there too. She got nominated for like best new artist or something like that. Oh yeah, Wait for You won best melodic rap performance. Tams carry that song. No one can tell me when they they because uh, what's I mean, that guy? Yeah, she has the best part of the song. Oh, what's the but guy? it's from a different song. Man. Yeah, it's from the song higher. What's yeah. what's the uh, producer? Atl Jacob. Atl Jacob. He was like he said he slowed he slowed he sped it up so that we could feel it. He said what you on? That's everybody was singing. That's a banger, man. When I first heard that song, I was a man. I knew that was a banger. And then because they could have took Drake off that song and it still would have been a banger. Yeah. So I after I heard that song, I went to look, I looked for where it was sampled from. I saw it was sampled from the song Higher yeah. from uh, Tam's album for Broken Ears. And I said, like, "Oh, this yeah." And I said, like, "Oh, she's Nigerian. She make Afro beats." I was like, "This is this is fire." Also, another song that I felt like should have got a Grammy for like best song of the summer or something like that was uh, "Last Last" by Burna Boy because everybody was dancing was dancing to that song like everywhere you hear. It's yeah, that song is a banger too. Yeah. So let's see. So I don't really listen to folk or I just listen to rap, R and B. That's pretty much it. So all these other things, I'm not really. And they even have person of the year. Oh, and obviously, uh, Musica Urbana album. So it's just like, ur- like the what's yeah. it called the the urban music or reggaeton. Bad Bunny won a won a Grammy for that. We know he was with Verona and T. Shout out to Bad Bunny too. That man that took over. He got that song Kaita. Yeah. I don't understand what word he be saying, but I know it's not fire though. Everybody love Bad right. Bunny. I need that man. He. That man is on a high trajectory right now, bro. Dr. Dre won a uh, global impact. Yeah, that's the first time they came out that award yeah. or something. I think it was Brandon. an inaugural uh, award. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm glad that Tams Future and Dre got that, because Tams deserved that, bro. Because now that Tams won his first Grammy? Nah, he got a Grammy for that one song, that performance for King's Dead. It was like, la di da di da. Oh, was, the one with Kendrick? Yeah, and Jay Electronica. Oh, yeah. Cause it was the song or J Rock, whatever his name is. Uh, it was the song that was using the the, the miss me with that bullshit yeah. off Black Panther soundtrack. Yeah, so it was the Black Panther soundtrack. So that song got because they played it in the part of the movie where uh, Killmonger is walking into the yeah, door, and then they yeah, put yeah. the camera around because King's dead. Yeah. So it was real. It wasn't super subtle, but it, the song was good though. So that was a good song. So I think this will be his second. Or that boy Drake won a Grammy. He didn't even submit no music. Yeah. He, he, he was featured. J. Cole stopped submitting his music to you, so I don't care about the Grammy. So he won a Grammy for a lot, though, because he's featured in that song. And that was 21 Savage's first Grammy. Yeah, it was. And a lot. And that's when 
I think 2018 is when music starts shifting because artists that you won't normally see work together start working together. And that's yeah. good. Because it all started in 2017. 21 Savage and Drake worked together for that song, Sneaking. Yeah. And then he got, he, he bought a 21 Savage a Demon, like the Challenger. Yeah. So like, Shout yeah. out to Drake, man. Yeah, Drake really put a lot of artists on. So did Jay-Z. Some people say that Drake be still in style, but at least when he's still some in style, he put them on, too. Cause yeah, he do. Jay-Z and Drake, boy, they both... They go to their generation. Kanye, well, Kanye West as well, because Kanye made a song with Y and W Melly. Lil Kanye, Kanye, I didn't even like Lil Pump, but he made a song with him. Kanye West, he up there too. But yeah. we go we're gonna talk about that another episode. Yeah. So we probably got enough time to about the greatest rappers, right? Yeah, that's gonna be a whole episode by itself. So next episode, stay tuned. It's gonna be uh the top billboard drop list for a top fifty most influential artists. And honestly, rappers. Yeah, rappers. rappers. My bad, rappers. <laughs> got it now, but it's a long list, and it's rappers from like the 70s up until 2020, 2016. Like, J. Cole and Drake and uh, Jay-Z were on there. and Jay-Z Kanye. was number one. I think some of you were saying that they, they dropped Kanye West low on the list. because He's number because, 11. Because of what happened, at, what, what he said about Yeah, the, you know. Oh, yeah. I think J. Cole but was that happened, I think, I think was Drake's like seven or eight. We're, we're not going to talk too much about it. Just, just know that that's going to be episode three, and then when we get to, after episode three, we're going to leave a poll for what we should talk about next. So. Yes, we got real estate episode. Yeah. Wow. So just just stay tuned to our Instagram, right? Mikey Stack seven five seven. Hey Ozzy, it'll be there. But yeah, thanks for tuning into the culture, and we here, and we out.